when you talked about the the proliferation of the McMansions and townhouses, and earlier I know you mentioned the development code needing an update. Um, is that what you're talking about? Uh, Absolutely. You got, well, everything. Here's the deal. The ULDR was last updated in 1997. All right. So these land development regulations are now a dozen years old. We're coming up on the city centennial in two years. We ought to map out where the city is going to be for the next 100 years. And we need to map that out now, update it. And I think we need to do it with input. One of the nice things I like is that the Fort Lauderdale Council of Civic Associations has already been working on this project. That's true. So we're not starting at the base here. We have actually have some great individuals that have already put in a substantial amount of time. But you're interested in, say, taking a single-family neighborhood and saying, no, we're not going to let this morph into and, and, a townhouse and, neighborhood. Right, and also they'll take some neighborhoods that need help. I mean, a good example is 13th Street Corridor. I mean, 13th Street Corridor has potential. And there's been some projects presented over there that have been very positive. And again, because of some sort of petty politics, they haven't been moved forward. I mean, you remember the last one came down to a timing thing, you know, where we didn't know there was a deadline. And yeah. I mean, we, we have got to focus on re- invigorating like that quarter. we got to focus on system. Do you support the 13th I mean, love, being in the CRA? They, do you support the expansion of the CRA? Well, the issue there is whether or not they expand a the CRA or whether they create their own CRA. Oh. My, my concern about, I, I support a CRA on 13th Street, and okay. I've said that publicly, and I'll say that again publicly. My concern is I don't want to water down the sister of CRA yeah. too much where all of a sudden you got too many cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. Because sister needs a focused effort. Um, that's an area that could really be an exciting place. It's got a little bit of cultural uh, activity there now. But it could really, we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, it could really be an exciting place. You could take the area essentially from McKinley's office to the uh, library, African American Research Library, and let that area sort of uh, flourish with some, um, you know, more uh, nightlife more restaurants, more retail, and I think if we could, you know, right now, it's, there doesn't seem to be a consensus out there, and that's why I don't want to say too much, because we've got a race going on there, and we've got two good candidates in the runoff, but uh, that candidate, whoever wins that, it's the commissioner needs to take a lead on that area, 